So a few people asked me about uh, nail repair and what do I do and I used to use ping pong balls um, as fake nails but I stopped doing that I, I decided to grow out my real nails and of course the hazards with real nails is you can break a nail as I have here as you can see I don't know if you can see that but this nail is split and uh, I'm gonna need to repair it right so instead of cutting this off this is a pretty major break but instead of cutting this off what I do is I use China silk so I'm gonna go through the process since I have to repair this anyway I'm gonna go through the process and hopefully this will help a few people um, to fix uh, nails that are cracked like this uh, there's a few things we need we need to have uh, I'm gonna use China silk all of this, by the way, I will link to in the YouTube description so you can get these products right off of Amazon. Uh, China silk, very helpful. Good pair of scissors. Whoops. <laughs> Good pair of scissors. Um, for fine cutting, right? Uh, emery board. Could be like this or some other emery board. Here's another one. Uh, this one is uh, one you can get pretty commonly. Um, and five second nail glue. This is the product I use. I use this nail glue. Now this particular kind is has a brush. So let me get the brush and show that to you. This has a brush which is a lot easier to work with than um, the other types. Uh, the other types that just simply come out like regular glue often they get um, they dry up, uh, they get stuck, the cap gets stuck on them. So I prefer this because I've had this for months and it never dries up and it doesn't get stuck. Uh, the top doesn't get stuck. Okay, so it's another product. And then finally in the end you're going to need sandpaper. Um, I get this from Guitar Solo in California, but you can get um, pretty much any really fine sandpaper from a hardware store but it's got to be super fine so as we can see in this repair the crack is at the bottom here and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut some of the China silk okay so I'm just gonna cut a little bit a tiny not a tiny square but like a rectangle and the nice thing about this particular silk is it has glue on one side so you can you can put it on the nail and it won't come off easily well I mean it'll come off easily but it only come off if you if you pull it off so now that's on the nail all right there's a little excess I'll trim that off later so that's covering the crack and I'm making sure that the crack is not jutting out you know that it's uh, that the nail is at, as much as possible smooth between the cracks right so it's even and then I put the silk on okay and then that's ready to go and now what we're gonna do is put on the glue Uh, you know, and one thing I didn't say, but one thing to understand about this, I mean, you have to make sure your nail is clean, that there isn't excess glue, you know, I mean, basic things. Make sure your nail is dry, <laughs> you know, like basic, basic ideas. So now we have the glue on this little brush. And we're just going to paint the glue right onto that china silk. and you'll know when it's done because the china silk will look like the rest of your nail it's completely porous so it just goes right through it okay and I can use a little bit more glue and I'm putting some more glue 
not an excessive amount. That's what's nice about the brush, you know. With the with the regular glue, it's like sometimes you just never know how much is going to come out. So not too much. Okay, and we end up with that. All right, so it basically looks like the rest of my nail, except for there's this little part that's jutting out, which I'll deal with in a sec. Now, this has to dry. So now we take our time, and I'll come back in a little while, but this has to dry first. Okay, so it's basically dried, and now all I'm going to do is I'm going to clip off the excess, right? So this excess that's happening here, I'm going to clip that off with some nail cutters. And this is what we have left. Whoops, let me get that in the camera. This is what we have left. So it's nice. The, the China Silk is cool because you can't really tell visually that, you know, there's any real alteration to the nail. When I used to use ping pong balls, I mean, you know, the looks I'd get from people like, oh, you must be a guitar player, you know, because not only did I have long nails, but they were white, <laughs> you know. So at least this looks natural, and I prefer the tone of real nails over ping pong balls uh, for various reasons, but it's just a little bit more natural. It's got a little bit more dirt to it, um, and that's, you know, what I like. I like a little bit of that stuff, so. Anyway, so that's that's where we are, right? And if I want to, I could put another piece of China silk on top of this. And if you want to do that, you can put another one, and I would put it in the opposite direction. So you have one maybe going this way, and then another piece of China silk going this way, you know, so they crisscross. That would probably be helpful. Um, I'm not going to do that uh, simply because I don't want to make the nail overly thick. Okay, I want it to be as, as thick as my natural nail usually is. But, uh, you know, if you, if you have uh, nails that are thick and you don't mind uh, layering up the China silk, go ahead, do it, you know. Okay, and now we go to the next stage. This is dried, so I'm going to use this emery board and I'm going to file this now down into my nail. So the China Silk now will get sort of meshed with my nail. All right, and it, it'll turn a little bit white. And that's normal. Okay, and I'm just trying to make sure that I don't push the nail too hard. I don't want it to, you know, I don't want to put too much pressure on this just yet. Wait for the playing. Okay, and then we're here. It's not too bad. It's got a little bit of white on it, but that'll go away. And uh, at this point, the filing is pretty much done. I mean, there's a little bit on the side that could be do a little bit on the side here. Okay, so as of right now, the nail is not coming apart. Right? The China silk is keeping it together. So that's basically the repair. Now it's just a matter of using some sandpaper so that it doesn't sound rough, right? So I'm going to use some sandpaper. I'm going to go underneath the nail, particularly underneath, because that's where the string is going to hit the nail, right? And I want to make sure that the sides are also nice and polished. I'll polish the whole nail, but you know, particularly I want to make sure that the sides are polished, because that's the that's also going to touch, right? Grind the whole nail like it's a stone. You know, just grind it with the sandpaper. Okay. And now it's very smooth. 
and it's not coming apart so I can use it okay so let's check it out so let's see what it's like so we have uh, the difference between my regular nails and the repaired nail they're very little difference there's a little bit of a difference I can get a click out of this nail you know if I if I go to the wrong angle so you know you still have to like be aware of uh, you know the way you're playing with the nail but in general I can use that you know for rest strokes So that's the idea. <laughs> uh, and it's a quick repair. It only took me about 20 minutes, you know, with the waiting time of waiting for it to dry. But um, in the end, you get your nail still. You have your regular nail. And, uh, you know, it, it's a, really a simple fix. In time, the nail will grow out and the crack will grow out. But, you know, that could take a, a few weeks, a few months even. But uh, in the meantime, the China Silk acts as a, uh, a good bridge so that you're not uh, having to play without a nail or having to throw on a fake nail with crazy glue, which messes up, you know, the underneath of your nail. That stuff I'm, I'm not really crazy about anymore. So I try to keep the repair only on the top, right, with the China Silk and the underneath is still clear of any glue or residue, unnatural residue. So I hope this is helpful. And uh, keep your nails safe and secure. I'll put a couple of products. There's a couple of products on Amazon which are good for nails. Uh, Biotin is one, uh, very good for nails. And also um, there's some creams that are good for nails. And uh, this nail broke simply because I had I was opening a door quickly and and it I just smashed it. So, but in general, if you if you use that stuff, the biotin and the um, and the 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 creams, it should help keep your nails a bit stronger. So you don't have you won't be breaking them that often. Okay, all right. See you soon.